Whoa, these games are too cool for any of us. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 snowboarding games. For this list, we're taking a look at various video games that approached snowboarding with either an arcade style or strived for a more realistic approach, and we ranked them based on how well they translated this extreme sport to the world of video games. Training completed. Number 10, Alto's Adventure. <laughs> Although it might not be what you're looking for now, for anyone wanting their dose of snowboarding gaming on the go, this is the game to have. Alto's Adventure is an endless runner, which means that it procedurally generates its environments, which means that one could hypothetically just keep on playing and playing for as long as they like. Performing tricks and jumps is all controlled by tapping the screen, making it more simplistic than other games on this list. However, the simplicity makes it very easy to get into meant to be a mix of the addictive gameplay of the Tony Hawk series with the absorbing atmosphere found in games like Journey, Alto's Adventure somehow manages to be soothing and breathlessly exciting all at the same time. Number 9, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Since snowboarding is a sport about gaining high speed and grabbing lots of air, it only makes sense that the two video game characters who move the quickest and jump the highest would get into the action. Since snowboarding is an Olympic sport, here you can find the cross and halfpipe events, as well as a special dream race event. Uh, the best way to summarize that particular game mode is that it's an amalgamation of the gameplay found in Sonic Riders and the Mario Kart series, all wrapped within a shiny snowboarding aesthetic. Yeah. The 2014 Soshi version would also have the parallel giant slalom if you're in the mood for some more events. Finish! Number 8, Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarder. Back in his heyday, Sean Palmer was basically the Tony Hawk of the snowboarding world. Considering the success of the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater series, it made a ton of sense then that this game would come out when it did. And on that note, you can probably guess what the gameplay is like. Play as the pros, do sweet combos, give high fives to the bros. It's a shame a follow-up was never officially released, as this game leaves us curious for a franchise that might have been. But it still becomes a new disease. Number 7, Snowboard Kids. Snowboard Kids is basically unlike any other game found within its genre, something that's probably been made immediately obvious by its more lighthearted and cartoonish visuals. It doesn't choose to put a huge emphasis on 8-digit scores or focus on providing a realistic experience, but rather sticks to a more video gamey feel because, plot twist, it's a video game. And there's nothing wrong with that, as it stands out on this list for its colorful charm and unique gameplay. Good. More focused on the racing aspect, Players use a wide array of power-ups to get ahead of other players and slide past the finish line. The game is also notable for its unorthodox racetracks, including an amusement park. Hey man, it was the 90s, we weren't so picky back then. No! Thank you! Number 6, Amped 2. As an exclusive title for the original Xbox, Amped 2 takes advantage of the console's powerful hardware to render massive environments without breaking a sweat. This allowed players to perform freestyle runs down large slopes as opposed to the more linear tracks of the other snowboarding games at the time. Aside from that impressive technical achievement, players could race as 14 different snowboarders, compete in a highly addictive career mode, and even take the race online through Xbox Live against other players. If that's not enough, Amped 2 also boasts a fully customizable soundtrack, so players can listen to their favorite tunes as they shred through the gnar. Oh, and you're encouraged to destroy snowmen for points, so that's cool, right? Number 5, Cool Borders 2. Go! The original Cool Borders was a sleeper hit that nobody saw coming, so developer UEP Systems took the time to craft a more complete sequel to meet everyone's pretty high expectations. 
nearly everything here was improved, including tighter controls, better level design, and more vibrant visuals. In this title, the main championship campaign of the game is split between two modes, a racing section with time bonus checkpoints, and a big air section where players are judged on how well they perform a trick in front of a crowd. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Additionally, the game provided players with the option to fully customize their own snowboarder with an expansive editing tool. As an added bonus, the game is also pure 90s nostalgia thanks to its grungy soundtrack. So if you want to relive your teen angst glory days or get a bit of a history lesson, pop in this one. Okay. Yeah. Number 4. SSX Tricky Getting its name from the popular Run DMC song, yes we're serious, SSX Tricky took all the strongest elements of its predecessor and built upon them for a much more refined snowboarding experience. Although the updated tracks and game modes were indeed a welcome addition, the most noteworthy inclusion in this sequel was the emphasis placed upon tricks and performing flashy special moves. Referred to as uber moves, pulling them off was a sensational and gratifying experience that just never really got old. All of these tricks served a purpose because they filled your boost meter, which helped you get down the mountain faster than your foes. With its added content, huge environments, and rivalry system within its borders, SSX Tricky is everything that a sequel should be. Bigger, better, and ugh, more tricky. Number 3. Sean White Snowboarding – Road Trip Oh, no way! You guys all made it! Can't believe you're all really here! Oh, this is awesome! I was about to head home, but let's go ride! The Wii version of this multi-platform release had to be built from the ground up, as a direct port from the 360 and PS3 versions wouldn't have worked considering the hardware limitations. However, this wasn't a bad thing as not only was it the best-selling version of the game, but it also was very well received by critics. We feel that this had to do with how the game took advantage of the motion controls found within the system to truly make you feel like you were snowboarding. The Wii Balance Board was used to simulate actually being on the board providing a much more immersive gaming experience as opposed to just pushing a bunch of buttons. And unlike some of the other games that tried something like this, it actually worked. We're looking at you, Tony Hawk. Just don't get too excited and fall face first on the floor, okay? Number 2. 1080 Snowboarding 1080. Back in the late 90s, 3D technology wasn't quite good enough to give you realistic looking characters, so most games focused on bright colors and cartoonish looking characters. Bucking this trend and blowing everyone's minds was 1080 snowboarding, going for a much more real world art style and largely pulling it off. Go! It featured lifelike character models who swerved across the tracks with smooth elegance at breakneck speeds. The game's graphics were also unparalleled for the time, taking full advantage of the power within the N64. Furthermore, 1080 had a stunning graphics engine, lengthy tracks to race on, and implemented the Trick System, all elements which were brought into its sequel, 1080 Avalanche. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. SSX3 Shredding into our top spot is the third entry in the aforementioned SSX series. Immediately upon its release, SSX3 received worldwide critical acclaim both from critics and gamers alike. Building upon its already excellent predecessor, Tricky, the developers worked very diligently to up the ante and provide the total virtual snowboarding package. You should see me on the mic! Well, mission accomplished, as SSX3 boasted a massive mountain that could be rode down in one shot during the free mode option. Beautiful audiovisual representation and an even more robust trick system than ever before. Did we even mention that rock and soundtrack? Extremely addictive and exploding with replayability, SSX3 is a furiously fun gaming experience that is easy to pick up and almost impossible to put down. agree with our list? What's your favorite snowboarding video game? 
for more tubular top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Come on, Bob, the